Coming up in this video, I've got a quick review and taste test of Koyaba. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I can't really pronounce it properly, but put Koyaba uh, banana or spiced banana rum. So if you want to know all about it, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, Steve the Barman here and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rum. As always, if you like what I do in these videos, give me a big old thumbs up, give me a like below and then if you don't want to miss any of my future uh, videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And then in the comments below, I want to hear whether you've ever tried uh, this banana rum, how do you drink it? Or if not, have you tried any banana rum? I've done three now on this channel. Uh, I've got Hoxton and uh, Cargo Colt banana. I've forgotten if there's any more. Um, so we're gonna taste this one. But what's your favorite banana rum and how do you drink it? And I can't go without giving a big shout out to the Spiced Rum Club on Facebook. It's doubled in numbers over the last couple of months. There's loads of you coming in there now. Um, some some of you with some samey sort of spiced rums and then some of you some weird and wonderful completely out of the ordinary spiced rums so come and join us in the spiced rum club over on facebook link in the big blue banner below or just search it out you'll find it really easy right then koyaba i'm useless at pronouncing stuff so koyaba banana or spiced banana rum this is my they've got another one as well the scorching pineapple as well i've, I've never tried that actually um but that that's uh, that's a couple of spice drums that they've got. That's actually made by the Curio guys. Uh, down in Cornwall, down in my motherland, uh, Curio Spirits, they've got a really lovely gin and a really lovely vodka. Um, they spread and say they make it, they spice it, they, they import their rums, obviously. But it's a Cornish, effectively a Cornish spiced rum. They've got a saying, I've got to read it, I love it, where is it? Uh, born in the Caribbean, raised in Cornwall. I love that. Now I haven't got too much information to share with you. I did uh, quickly get a, a sort of a message from the guys, and uh, not so, not loads of information on there, but the bits of information I can share. share. Uh, they've got to change their name uh, really soon, so I'm not sure what that's about. So it might not be called Koyaba for too much longer. Uh, I, again, I, I don't know what all that's about, but look out for that name change. This is also a pretty new uh, flavour extension as well. It was only released last year in 2019. But the guys did tell me this uh, this rum is a blend of three different Caribbean rums. So we've got uh, Barbados, Jamaica and Trinidadian uh, base rums in there. Of course, they're all shipped back to the UK, back down to Cornwall. And then the guys down at Curio will uh, spice that up with their kind of flavour recipe. Now the guys didn't go into too many details of what they sort of spice this up with. All I've got is cinnamon. Uh, vanilla and then a banana obviously so whether that's it uh, or whether there's other spices involved in this I don't really know whether I'll be able to tell on the nose and the taste I have no idea other couple of little things just to tell you uh, it's a 37 and a half percenter so it's not a 35 or anything like that 37 and a half percent so still depends on the amount of sugar in there it still sort of could be legally a, a spiced rum not a spirit based drink but I've got a funny feeling it probably is a spirit a legally a spirit based drink and um, best places to get it from uh, Master of Malt is actually cheaper than Amazon, except if you've got Amazon Prime. If you've got Amazon Prime, it's free delivery and then it'll be a couple of quid cheaper, but I'll drop links in the show notes for you. Uh, just one last thing before I get onto the smelling. Uh, there's not much going on in the back here, but there is a kind of a little cool thing. Uh, this banging banana rum smacks of banoffee pie with an added spicy cinnamon and vanilla kick. Made with a blend of Caribbean rums, packs a punch with ginger ale and a wedge of lime. Right then, so what does this smell like? Let's time it, sort of rip the top off the bottle. Let's have a little whiff. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you can certainly tell that's banana, that the banana just comes through and smacks you around the mouth. That is just huge banana notes on there. I kind of get quite a big sort of spicy notes coming through as well. It's probably the cinnamon. I'm not sure if there's anything else in there, but they're just that banana sort of properly banana forward uh, spiced rum. Whether that will come through in the taste or not, I don't know. Uh, where for me, the other two that I've done on there, the Hoxton banana and the Cargo Colt banana, have kind of fallen through. For me, in a sense, they are delicious rums. Uh, but they are, for me, not flavoured rums, if you know what I mean. They've got banana in them, but they're just out-and-out -out rums. This, for me, 
could be just on that smell could be what i would call a banana flavored spiced rum right then what does this taste like well let's go first off sweetness scale i'm i was toying with giving actually giving that a two out of five on the sweetness scale so five being really really sweet four being your lambs and your bamboos and that kind of stuff i was toying with giving it a two I th I'm potentially going to give it a two and a half. Close, yeah, two, two and a half out of five. It's actually not as sweet as I was expecting. Now, for me, as that mellows out with that ice cube in there, and uh, the banana, get, it's not as it's not as bananary as I was expecting, but it's a damn sight more bananary than um, the Hoxton and the Cargo Colt. Uh, for me, yes, that is a banana flavored rum. Uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of got a lot of peppery kick in it. Uh, there's a lot of sort of spice that's clinging to it. Um, I'm not overly convinced for me that is a neat sipping rum. I'm not sure I could handle too much of that neat. And by what I mean by that is I, I purely I don't think it's as smooth on the finish. I think it's got kind of a little bit of a rough uh, aftertaste to it. A little bit of alcohol burn on there. And I tell you what what this is doing. The more the ice melts in there, so dilutes, the more different flavours are coming out. What I would say, neat, uh, with absolutely no ice in it at all, it, the predominant flavour is banana with a bit of spice. But as that dilutes a little bit, I get, I get the cinnamon coming through, I get a little bit of vanilla coming through, and they kind of do balance out that, um, that sort of spicy, peppery edge to it. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, for me, it's definitely more of a mixing rum than it is a neat rum. But I tell you that if you want a banana, if banana is your thing, and I do love bananas, um, then that is a really good sort of banana flavoured rum. Right, let's get into the highball serves with this. This was kind of a little bit interesting, this one, highball serves. I'm also going to feature a new mixer on here as well, because we were talking about this in the Spice Rum Club the other day on Facebook, so I thought I'd break it out uh, for the first time and have a little play. Right, first off, uh, banana rum and coke. Yep, pretty tasty. Um, not my favorite way of enjoying that, but pretty decent uh, sort of spiced rum and coke. I think for a lot of you, you're gonna enjoy that. That was that was quite tasty. Next mixer for me, uh, yes, this did work. Ginger ale, and uh, not a feisty. Uh, I did try it with ginger beer as well. I thought the ginger beer just kind of it wasn't a great finished drink uh, for me but the ginger ale yes and uh, this the spiced orange ginger ale no for me that kind of didn't work but normal plain ginger ale yeah i'll be quite happy to drink that what they've got in the back of the bottle i would kind of agree with that now just quickly get on to some other mixes i'm going to start off with that one that was actually really nice really did enjoy that uh, much more than um, that pineapple, so that tropical soda. Really kind of enjoyed that, and I'll be that's kind of what that is in there actually. That just finishing that bit off. Moving swiftly on, uh, I just had a little bit left in another can. I've been shooting some cocktail videos. Apple ties, that was apple and banana. You kind of get that quite a lot. Uh, I just thought I'd try it. Do you know what? I never even thought of apple ties before. That just worked so well. Now the final one to uh, shout out about is um, is coconut water. Now I we were chatting about this in the Spice Rum Club the other day. Uh, I do drink Vita Coco quite a lot, but it's quite expensive. Um, so I kind of I need to have a little play about to find what my sort of favourite coconut water is. I do most of my shopping at Tesco's. Uh, these the Tesco's in the World Food aisles have these cans, and I've gone through quite a few of these already. Uh, it's weirdly stupid, like 95p a can or two for a pound. Uh, so I normally pick a couple of up. I've had them quite a few. This one's really nice coconutty uh, taste. I haven't compared the coconut content, but this one's got lots of, lots of little bits of coconut in there as well. Now, I have to say, that actually worked really, really well. And I'm going to start playing about with these co these coconut waters a bit more now, just to kind of see, because pubs, pubs and bars don't, sell them they don't stock them and i'm kind of interested now but it's really got me coconut water with a spiced rum 
that banana one works very, very well. I haven't tried it with the Vita Coco yet because uh, I haven't got any on me, but I will do. So yeah, I they're actually my top, um, where are we? My top picks. Um, I think for most of you, you're gonna go ginger ale. I know some of you are gonna, your Coke out and out, Coke. Um, but they're my top picks for that. So that's been Koyaba but, uh, Spiced Banana Rum. If it's still like that in a few months' time, we shall see. They've, As I said, they've mentioned they're going to have to rebrand or rename, so no idea where that's going. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If you get a bottle, let me know. I will see you in the very next Spice Rum video.